And we're back with everybody's favorite segment. It is Front Street, and we have a lot to cover this year. This week. Um, I guess I'll just start off with the NFL. I am really tired of players getting fined for pretty much doing their job. Uh, these flags, these fines for these violent hits, I don't know where they decided that we're just going to make the NFL a pillow fight with pads on, but I'm not digging it because it's going to change the game for the worst. Because well, you, you're messing with a perfect product. If you don't want them to hit, take the pads away. Yeah. Seriously. Like, no no, no BS. Like, if you don't want them to hit, take the pads away. And they won't. Because th- these hits that these players are getting fined for and getting flagged for are legal hits. You got to understand that, I mean, players are getting bigger and faster. And even though the hits are legal... These athletes are complete goddamn animals. So, yeah, people are going to get hit. And it's not going to look good when it happens. Because it's happening at a faster speed. And more velocity. And, but, either way you cut it, most of these are legal hits. And I know and I know part of it is they're looking out for the concussions. But you could literally have, like, a marble fall on your head. And if it hits you the right way, you're going to get a concussion. Or you could have Ray Lewis barrel down at you and just knock you out, and nothing could happen. Very true. So I would. I mean, I, I would any day of the week. I would. Marble. Oh, I'd go with the marble any day of the week. It, uh, it's so dumb. All right, uh, on Front Street, I am putting myself again. This is what like the third or fourth time in like the last cool. between last season and this season, I've been on there more than I want to be. You're hard on yourself. Well. The ladies are hard on me, sir. I don't even know what that means. Uh, but I'm putting myself on front street for the fact that I basically, I might as well just not have a foot at this point. No. I basically tore every tendon, ligament, cracked anything. Ba- basically, whatever's in my foot is all just broke. Other than bones. Right. Jesus. Like I heard a distinct loud pop, which is never good. Nope. You don't want that. But basically, I can't put weight on my leg, so my flag football career is over. Softball. Looks softball. like my softball career is over. You are a bastard. We were supposed to play uh, in January. It looks like just recreational sports. I'm going to have to uh, retire my jersey. Yeah, hang them up. Hang it. I'll get it autographed by everybody. We'll, 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 we'll lift it into the rafters. Um, if anyone drives You're by. You're a legend, what, sir. If anyone drives by what's called the uh, Skyway Field, where the, the nice AstroTurf field that I played on. Look for um, Josh's ankle because it's somewhere. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have a candlelight service on the goal line where I broke my ankle. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Who else do you got, sir? What you really need to do, if you're going to have a funeral for your ankle, you need to just hire a giant fat black woman to yell and scream no god no please take me i'm just saying no comment that's what i want at my fu- that's what i want at my funeral no comment. <laughs> what no. go proceed and have her throw herself on top go. of the casket as you ascend it down into the ground go have her jump on it and act a fool what's wrong it's a good idea go <laughs> okay um, we talked about it already. Um, I am not putting Joe Pa on Front Street. I'm just putting all of College Station on Front Street because of what went down. Um, like I said before, this is something that we should never, ever, ever have to talk about when we're bringing up sports. Never in the history of never. Never. This should, shouldn't happen. Um... I don't know who let it happen, but, um, yeah, I just think that it's a huge black eye, not only on Penn State, but on college football in general, because, you know, ESPN, they've been humping the living shit out of this story for the past 48 hours. Oh, yeah. As they should. I mean, you got to cover it. And, um, I don't know. I just think it's, like I said... I don't ever want to have to ever, ever, ever want to have to bring up this subject ever again in college football, 
NFL. I don't care what sport. This shouldn't be happening. I hear you. Uh, two more people I have for Front Street. Uh, one is Marquise Mays. Uh, he's the Alabama wide receiver. After the game, he said that Alabama is still the best team in the country and that if they had another chance at LSU that they would win. Um, well, hmm. I, I tend to disagree. Because hmm. if you're the best team, you would have won. Um, and it's not like this game was in Baton Rouge. LSU came into your house and beat you. Mind you, it was a field goal fest. And if your kicker could make field goals, you would have won. Like I said, I don't think you're but allowed at the end to of the call day. the game of the century if no one scores a touchdown. Eh, I don't what know. if? I'm just saying. You can't say you're the best team when someone else comes into your house and beats you. Slaps you in the mouth. Just saying. And the last person I have on the front street is one Mark Sanchez. Is this his second time? Have you seen this video by chance of him being bitched out? By, uh, is it Florence Drayton? Drayton Florence? Yes. <laughs> Strike that, reverse it. Okay. They're doing Wildcat. Sanchez is out there. And, uh, Florence lunges at Sanchez. Sanchez, re- like, jumps back like he's about to get beat up by Ray Lewis. <laughs> and so the play starts. Sanchez grabs him by the jersey, tries to bring him down to the ground. Florence just throws Sanchez off of him like a rag doll. Ends up making the tackle. Oh, and the 10-yard holding penalty on Sanchez. <laughs> so in one play, he just looked like a bitch four times. <laughs> <laughs> that is maybe the most epic fail. If you want to see the video, it's up on my Facebook. I I will. I will. I'll jump on that. <laughs> it is. I showed it to my manager. He started crying. <laughs> <laughs> Because he's a Giants fan, so he hates Mark Sanchez. Oh, man. You see, like, Mark San- like he just lunges at him, and San- it's like in the social network when uh, <laughs> the guy, like, jumps at JT, and JT freaks out. Yeah. Yeah. It's awesome. 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 All right. Well, uh, now that Mr. Hainsworth plays for the Bucks, I'm sure he'll be back on here soon enough. <laughs> oh, so He has a bigger spotlight on him than he <laughs> oh, does he? ever knew. Uh, well, uh, that is it for episode 309. I hope you enjoyed it. And we will be back next week. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to be mobile. Yeah. And I'll have what resembles a leg. Yeah, right now it's just a, uh, just a space boot, pretty much. Basically. <laughs> but in space boots, you jump around in space. You can't jump around in shit. I, I, can't, can't. I can't jump around in anything. Kid me. All right. Well, again, that is it for 309. We'll see you next week.